teased. What is good, everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today, we are doing another WWE Elite Figure Review on the brand new Epic Moments Milk O Mania 3 pack. From Ringside Collectibles, using the promo code MDTOYS. If you want to pick this set up, guys, go over to ringsidecollectibles.com and use that promo code to save yourselves 10%. But this set is incredible. I'm so freaking excited for it. I remember when they first showed it, it was such a nostalgia pop for me just because I remember when this moment happened. I was five years old, I do believe, and I was literally so crazy. Like, Kurt Angle was my favorite wrestler when I first got into wrestling, so I was just huge on him. And when this happened, when he soaked the alliance with the milk and coming out with the milk truck it was such a great moment with his music playing guys just a, such a, a epic moment in fact you know it just it tails perfectly to this series with the epic moments but right here you see milko mania you got a picture of the milk truck as the box which is so cool it says it's true it's true kurt angles milko mania there you got the wwe logo spinning around the back you got the back of the truck you got a picture of kurt angle rocking the nike trainers looking fresh to death I wish we, i may have to paint those up just because that looks so sick to me I may have to do that to the actual figure but we have a little read up here if you'd like to uh, read that you can go ahead and pause it now but this is just so awesome guys look at the front of the box here you got the windshield steering wheel and all that jazz obviously a bit too thin to be an actual milk truck but we're not complaining guys this thing looks amazing the only thing they probably could have ever done more is just give us the milk truck but I, I'm not complaining guys this is epic of course you have the door here and then you undo the flappage you got some flappage you flap that down you have Stephanie McMahon Stone Cold Steve Austin and Kurt Angle inside with all of these accessories so super hyped to get all these I think it's so cool that we're getting this um, I, I don't think anybody would have thought we would ever get this in figure form we got the extra stephanie head down there which i think is funny that it's just floating around doesn't even have its own slottage but uh on the little flap there it does say milk o mania and kurt angles and it's true it's true like on the front of the box but now that we've done that guys let's go ahead and crack this thing open and here we have all three figures out of the packaging guys my god they look incredible i am so hyped for this set I am just totally marking out right now, guys. Again, huge nostalgia pop for me. You get a ton of accessories here that we're going to get into. You get three brand new figures, and I just think that this is one of the coolest things I've ever released. It's so specific, and they included so many cool details with it that make it, you know, accurate to the time and the moment that it just makes me so happy. Like, I think it's the coolest thing ever that they released this with these accessories specifically. So what we're going to do is take a closer look at every accessory that we get, and then we'll take a closer look at the figures themselves. Alright guys, so getting a closer look at the accessories that we come with, starting off with the WCW Alliance t-shirt right here guys, that comes with Stone Cold Steve Austin. This is obviously the shirt that comes on the figure when you get it out of the packaging, and I think it's so cool. I've wanted to order this shirt from a custom shirt maker for a long, long time, and I never did. So now that we have it from Mattel, I am very excited. I think this is so cool that we actually get this shirt. You know, very nostalgic for me again. Uh, Kurt Angle and Stone Cold Steve Austin's feud for me and my childhood is very nostalgic. Like, just seeing this t-shirt in figure form is like my god am i five years old or what next up we have this jersey the kurt angle jersey and you can see here remember it was posed with that checkerboard t-shirt that we saw at that con or whatever it was this is the actual jersey right here guys that kurt angle was wearing it's got like a flames and stars i think that's supposed to be like the olympic flame there you got kurt angle down here fade right there that's so cool that they actually got the fade in there with the blue white and red and then you have the stripes i think this is so cool i remember being a kid wanting this jersey and i never got it maybe i need to place the order now and uh, since i haven't figure form might as well next up we we have Stephanie McMahon's accessory and she has this interchangeable head which is you know supposed to be her milk soaked head I don't know exactly how I feel about it I don't know if they just wanted each figure to come with its own accessories but it kind of does look like you know Stephanie with her makeup running I think that's pretty cool you got the uh, hoop earrings on there and I'll show you how easy this is to pop off it's pretty simple we'll just go ahead and pop Stephanie in here so you guys can see so you have the Stephanie figure her head really pops off pretty easily just like that and then you just pop in the new head like so and that is how it's done so it's very very simple so if you get this it's not you know don't be afraid to snap her head off even though snapping stephanie's head off probably wouldn't be that bad you know you don't want to ruin your brand new figure that you just got with your epic moment so popping that back off that is our interchangeable head i like the regular head better but I think it's still cool that we get that interchangeable head. So that is Stephanie McMahon. Going back into our accessories right here, guys, we do get a microphone. It is the new logo. It's the network logo. But you know how easy it is to switch this out. There are plenty of Jack's microphones. If you want to make this fully accurate, you can go get a WWF Scratch logo one. Or you can just interchange your WWE Scratch logo. We've gotten a ton before, so it's not a huge deal. Even though it is inaccurate, 
We do have this cooler right here that has the Kurt Angle stripes and stars on there. Obviously, the stripes are not red. They are blue with blue stars. I think the paint detail on this cooler is pretty cool. And I think this is a new mold. I don't think we've seen this mold as, uh, uh, like in a cooler. It even has like the lock button. You know when you have a cooler and you push this button to slide it open, they actually have that. It doesn't work or anything, but it's still cool that they added the detail of the lock button. But you can open it up. <laughs> As hard as that is, and it breaks straight off. Now, I don't know how that happened, but uh, it shouldn't have happened. There we go. We got it back on there. But anyways, you slightly open it, and you can fill this up with our milk cartons that you get. You get these four milk cartons, as you can see. The detail and the, the sculpting and paintwork on these are incredible. So you stick the milk down in there, and then you get your other one. You fill it up here. So you can just fill up this with all your different milk cartons because, you know, after he did this moment... You know, he uh, was taking them out one by one, splashing them together and stuff. So you fill that up with milk, and then you can close it, and then you can go have yourself a milk party when the freaking doesn't pop off like that. So the lid does keep popping off, but uh, I don't know. It's not that big of a deal. I can easily reseal it. So, uh, yeah, you get your milk carton and your coolers, and then you have your Olympic gold medal that comes with Kurt Angle. We've seen this before with his first figure and his second figure. His Elite 59 figure is the one we've seen this with. The, uh, I think it's it looks like it's the mold of the first one, but the colors of the second. I could be wrong, though. And then you have these two milk cartons that squeeze together. You squeeze them together. You know, you're supposed to pose them with Kurt Angle like he's squeezing them. It's so cool. It's even got the details in there of it being squished, and you got the milk splashing out. You know, Kurt Angle just getting destroyed by the milk as he celebrates like he did at the Hall of Fame. And then we have a really big accessory, which I'm probably going to have to zoom out for. We have this elongated hose right here, guys, and you can see it wraps up at the end right there, and uh, it comes out. You still have, you got some great paint detail and sculpted detail in the head of the hose, and this detaches right here, so you can detach the milk stream if you don't want it pouring out, you know, if you just want him holding it without anything spraying out. And then you can just port this in here and then you have this long milk flowing piece that's spraying milk everywhere. I think that's so cool that they actually included this and um, that's just so freaking sick. I love that they include this. Like Mattel stepping out of the box. Actually, we have a molded milk plastic piece from Mattel. That is just so interesting to me. But now that we've taken a closer look at every accessory, guys, let's go ahead and take a closer look at the figures themselves. So here we have all three figures, guys. I guess we can start off with Stephanie McMahon. You know, here's her head sculpt, and it's not, you know, anything too, too special, but uh, we did take a closer look at this earlier. You got just a black tank top, black shorts, and uh, pretty much bare legs, and then you have some black high heels. I know that a lot of girl customizers or female customizers that like to customize the women's figures, I think that um, you guys will get a kick out of this. It's a great base for other figures. I don't know if uh, you know if this set comes down in price, you may want to pick up these because I think this will be a great base. The articulation on this girl and stuff is is, is really good. So I think that uh, this will do well. But that is definitely the best Stephanie figure that we've had. I think here's a, a comparison of the other two Stephanies that I have in my collection. So you have you know b two battle pack ones, and then you have the new. Uh, three pack in the epic moments figure so you can see the head sculpt this definitely does look like a young stephanie i think it does work really really well so um yeah it, there is stephanie mcmahon moving on to stone cold guys we have seen this figure again a hundred times before i mean it's literally just like his other figures he got his chrome dome up there chrome dome bastard it's the same head sculpt i would have loved a new head sculpt for Stone Cold, we get a new T-shirt, and then it's his black or uh, blue jean shorts mold. No knee braces on there, and then of course his uh, short black boots with his uh, Texas tattoo on his leg. So I mean, we've pretty much seen this again. We've seen this with the Hall of Fame, like it's the same exact figure. This is literally the Hall of Fame figure with a different T-shirt. So you can see it's pretty much the same. I think this head sculpt is the same head sculpt as that we got with the. Amazon exclusive, I think. So let's go ahead. Here's a comparison between the three. I'm pretty sure these, like, this one's eyes are painted a little bit different, but these two are pretty much the same exact head sculpt. So these are really cool to see next to each other. But yeah, I mean, we've seen this figure before. Again, it's just a different t shirt. And then we have Kurt Angle, and he is freaking looking so sick, guys. This head scan sort of reminds me of a Jax figure. I just think that's so cool. Maybe we can get a little zoom in action. So you guys can see, you got his blue eyes going right there. Got the molded open mouth. It sort of reminds me of that WrestleMania Brock Lesnar head scan. But I think somebody should come in and shave off that hair. Give him a bald look, and I think it will be beautiful. Maybe I can get BEW to do it for me. But that looks freaking sick, guys. Because I think he's sort of balding a little bit. If he doesn't do that, I mean, you could literally replace this head with the other 
entrance grates Kurt Angle and it would still work perfectly. But if you took this head, put it on a bald thing, and then put it on your Elite 59, that would be something to see. I would love to see that. And then, of course, we did see the jersey. You guys are going to want to see what he looks like underneath the jersey real quick. So we pop the jersey off, and he does have the same torso that, you know, Triple H has. John Cena's had this torso, but I think this is pretty accurate. I mean, if anything, he may be a bit jacked, but I think it works for the figure. Going down, he has the Usos crotch piece with the black, which we have never seen these shorts molded like this before, because he has, like, John Cena upper legs and, uh, you know, a Usos crotch, and then he is on ball joints. The articulation on this guy is excellent. Like, he has so many points of articulation, great, you know, range of motion and stuff going down into the shorts and into the legs and stuff. The shoes look very nice. Get great ankle pivot, great ankle stuff. You even get like a shin rotation. So this this is one of the best articulated figures I think Mattel's ever given us hands down. So I would love to see this continue on other figures as far as articulation. But that pretty much does it for all of the figures in this Epic Moments 3-pack. Psych, I want to give you guys the Kurt Angle Elite comparison. So we have the entrance grace right here. We have the Elite 59 and then we have the brand new Epic Moments in the middle. I think this is is a cool little timeline. You got his debut. You got, you know, uh, sort of a mid-run Kurt Angle. Not even mid-run quite yet. And then you have you know, his Elite 59 figure looking beautiful in the Ruthless Aggression era. So such a beautiful, like, my God, I cannot stress enough how epic this Epic Moments 3-pack is, guys, with the Milko Mania. You gotta put his gold medals on there, make it, uh, you know, appropriate there. So you can see the blues are a bit different. See, it's like these are molded the same. I don't know, they may be all through the same mold. I may just be freaking stupid. Oh! But yeah, that pretty much does it for all three figures review. But that pretty much does it for this WWE Elite figure review on the Epic Moments Milko Mania 3-pack set. If you guys did watch this video all the way to the very end, comment down below, my damn milk. This set is freaking epic, guys, just like the tagline says. I mean, the Milko Mania set for me especially is so awesome. I love these things. Can't wait to pose these guys around, take some pictures with them. If you guys would like to pick them up, again, they are available over at RingsideCollectibles.com. Using the promo code MDTOYS, you can save yourself 10% as well as a ton of pre-orders right now, guys. Tons and tons of pre-orders over there right now, so definitely go get in on that. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MyDamnToys. Subscribe to the channel for more epic WWE figure videos, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you. My damn milk.